Good evening. Those who are to the east this evening, I know, and uh, this even night. And uh, in East Africa, it is uh, good afternoon. And those to the west, it is also good afternoon. And those to the far west, good morning. Uh, welcome to this lecture on social uh, media forensics. Uh, it is a lecture that is going to take us about one and a half hours to two hours. So you get prepared with your, your notebook for notes, taking notes. I'm going to discuss social, uh, social media forensics in relation to forensic investigation. You can ask yourself, what is social media forensics? Social media forensics can be, can be defined as the gathering, collection, storage, and analysis of information, photos, videos, personal itinerary, connections, events, and press releases for purposes of finding evidence for the crimes perpetrated. The list can go on and on, because as we are going to see, what is found on the social media is immense, a lot of information that can assist in both the detection and the investigation of crimes, whether perpetrated on, on cyber space or of cyberspace. In a simple terms, social media forensics is the use of social media sites and what they contain in the form of information about people for the investigation of crime. In the simple terms, as I've said, social media forensics is the use of social media sites and what they contain in the form of information about people for the investigation of crime. The crime I'm talking about can be cyber crime or off cyber crime. Crimes can be perpetrated on the cyberspace or outside the cyberspace. Four types of crimes can be investigated by the use of the information that can be gathered and analyzed from uh, social media. Welcome, Samir, from Pakistan, uh, from Sri Lanka. Uh, yes, yes, yes. You are welcome. Yes, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks for your knowledge sharing. So, really value to the world. What is social mes media? Hey. Uh, for us to understand what we are talking about, we must understand first what is social media. Andreas Kaplan and Michael Hadelein divine social media as a group of internet-based applications that build on the ideological and the technological foundations of and that allow the creation and the exchange of user-generated content. From this definition, social media is what those who are on social media post. They generate content. The owners of social media sites prepare the infrastructure 
and then those who the users of social media generate uh, content and uh, this content is what we are going to discuss this huge information that can be used for investigation another definition social media is further defined by h Kessman, john uh, john christopher and Hamkins 2011 are start media which depends on mobile and web-based technologies to create highly interactive platforms through which individuals and communities share, co-create, discuss, and modify user-generated content. This is, in this definition, this is where the investigative value of social media lies, the interactivity on social media, sharing of information on social media, discussions on social media, displays of myriad types of information on social media. Social media introduces substantial and pervasive changes to communication between organizations, communities, and individuals. You will note that not only individuals are on social media, but also organizations. Organizations are also on social media. <coughs> That is a comment from Lawrence Mugoma. That is what he says. So Mugoma is watching us online. He has indicated to where he is watching from. Understanding social media. Social media has taken the world by storm. It has been used to spread hate messages against individuals and governments, advertising goods and services, perpetrating fraud, pulling people, harassment, causing insurgencies, and other cyber crimes of all kinds. Nonetheless, social media can also be used as a tool for crime detection and investigation in addition to being used for global marketing and publicity. Just to ponder the fact that in January 2021, over 4.26 billion people were using social media worldwide, a number projected to increase to almost 6 billion in 2027 refer to that website for further uh, for more information young old men and women criminals and professionals are all on social media in including organizations of all sorts they are on social media Let me now give you the, the scope of this presentation at a glance. The following are what I am going to cover in this lecture. What is social media already done? Check it out. Major platforms of social media. Nature of social media. Can social media be used to commit or perpetrate fraud? We are going to answer that question. 
social media investigation tools how social media can be used in detecting complex and the property hidden fraud and corruption trace trace fraud suspects who have run away how to trace using social media number eight a case story where social media helped to apprehend a suspect who had run away major platforms of social media or sites of mo uh, social media most popular social media networks worldwide as of january 2023 ranked by number of monthly active users he uh, one as follows number one facebook number two youtube number three whatsapp number four instagram number five wechat social media forensics is an emerging great tool for fighting fraud and corruption this is a point that you have to uh, to note as we carry on with this discussion. How many people are on social media? It was estimated in January 2023 that the total number of monthly active users on major social media were uh, as follows. Facebook 2.96 billion users youtube 2.5 billion users whatsapp 2.0 billion users instagram 2.0 billion users wechat 1.3 billion users these are the leading sites currently but the figures keep on changing daily you will note that uh, sites like whatsapp instagram and wechat have improved and overtaken overtaken sites like google linkedin and and twitter because it much depends on how the users are, are attacking these sites. It appears that more and more people are learning to YouTube, WhatsApp, Instagram, and WeChat, running away from sites like Twitter, LinkedIn, and the rest. So it will change it is very dynamic it's fluid and dynamic next time when we look at these statistics we might find that even if facebook is not number one we might find that it has been taken by youtube or or whatsapp so the figures are changing on daily basis as more social media sites are being manufactured and designed and configured on daily basis. Social media contains the following information that can and do assist in social media forensics. Personal data, personal activities in information, Employment history, educational credentials, and information on business ownerships and relationships, personal itinerary, personal connections, bragging about huge investments, lifestyle display. This information is not exhaustive. It is not all. The list can go on and on. 
the information posted by the users on these social media sites is unlimited too much information and they post the information willingly no one forces the other to post anything all users post willingly post anything they want to display and share nature of social me media crime it is easy to perpetrate fraud on social media very easy by 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 impersonation many people as we speak now have been defrauded on social media by impersonation not easy to prevent but can easily be detected it is not easy to prevent crime happening on social media but uh, it can be detected arresting social media wrongdoers is not easy but it can be traced can be done because no criminal can be too clever than the the enforcers of the law prosecution of social media wrongdoers is hard but very and very cumbersome very cumbersome investigating those who perpetrated a crime on social media fraud on social media is like willing giver willing taker willing giver willing taker you are just enticed twisted persuaded and then you give up either your information or you send money on social media victims do not report the crimes because of the foregoing point uh, the victims sometimes feel shameful and therefore they fail they fail to report crime for example if you you have been uh, you know called in a very silly way someone has just impersonated uh, uh, your the friend you know and then he sweet talks you talks to you and then you send the money to that uh, impersonator when you realize that you send some money uh, fire mobile mobile money to a wrong person you just get uh, ashamed of yourself and you do not even feel uh, the urge to go and report the crime because you did it willingly you did it you sent the money believing that you are sending it to your friend or to your work colleague so you just let it go and it usually uh, involves not too much money small small amounts of money but for the criminals it is a road because they are calling uh, several uh, several people to the criminal it could be a lot of cash because they are calling several people I've seen the questions have started coming and the comments are coming. Um, uh, the comments and the questions will come uh, much later once I've completed my uh, my lecture. So keep them coming. They will be displayed for the those who are available, the panelists to respond, and even the viewers will have time to comment on the the questions that 
are raised. Keep them coming. Examples of social media crimes. Identity theft and impersonation. Not only are the names and photos displayed, but email addresses, phone numbers, children's names, even dates of birth are regularly included in public profiles. And therefore, these are used by the criminals for impersonation. Market distortion via fake profiles. This happens quite often. Posting misleading information to create some perception about the market, about some products are posted on social media to mislead the public and, def and eventually defraud them. Nigerian 419 frauds, these attacks still occur and the social media offers a potential gold mine to those wishing to more effectively adapt their 419 messages to their targets. Stock fraud. Social media is and can be used to pump up the prices of stocks and then thumb them once the fraudsters have benefited by selling their shares or stocks at higher price. Online threats, stalking, cyber pooling. The most commonly reported and seen crimes that occur on social media involve people making threats, pulling others, <coughs> harassing others, stalking others online, hacking and fraud. If you are social, one of your social media accounts have not been hacked, you are lucky. They hack, take your photo, use it to defraud your friends. They pretend that it is your friend who is asking for assistance and then they fraud you. Small amounts anyway, but it amounts to huge amount because the fraud star is targeting a large number. You are not the, the, the only person is targeting. Buying illegal things, posting videos of criminal activity, vocation robberies. I will explain this. What is vocation robbery? We talked about posting our personal internally on social media. <clears throat> Sorry. When you post your personal internally, like you are saying, you will be off from the you are you are you are city uh, to to the rural home, or moving from the rural home to the city. There are those people who know you, and they are criminals. They will be noting your movement that you will not be around. So because of that posting. They use that opportunity to plan to carry out robbery at your place when you are on vacation. So the posting of personal internally on social media causes uh, vacation related robberies. It happens quite often and the people lose a lot of favorable uh, properties and personal effects. <clears throat> Advantages of social media vis-a-vis -vis forensic investigation. Social media provides an amazing opportunity for investigators to acquire evidence Social media intelligence has become a common aspect of many investigations, including insurance fraud, 
intellectual property theft, online defamation, and even criminal prosecutions. Social media capture and the preservation is especially important in regulated industries where social media posts are considered official business records and they need to be retained for compliance. The problem with manually gathering evidence is that you cannot, it is not uh, possible to gather the manual evidence on social media. It is not easy, but there are tools that can help to correct the evidence and analyze uh, the, the, the information on, your, on social media. Combing through dozens or hundreds of social media channels for related profiles. This is a problem, but as we are going to see, we are going to, to see that, that, that there are some tools that we can use to shift very fast through the information on social media and they get the information we get for investigation purposes. Manual work, manually expand, uh, expanding uh, replies and comments to locate a relevant piece of information is not easy. Proving authenticity, tracing the origins of an internet image or files, and also there is legal legal obstacles. The in many jurisdictions, uh, these digital investigations or cyber cyber crime investigations. All the information uh, evidence gathered from investigating on the cyberspace is no uh, has not been readily accepted. So it is also a challenge to prove authenticity of the evidence uh, corrected from social media. Taking screenshots or posts, sometimes manually correcting an entire Twitter or Facebook account. It's not that easy, but we are going to see that there are tools that can be used to investigate. These processes can, uh, can take such a long time that conducting an inquiry is simply not cost effective. Investigators can spend days on social media but would a client be prepared to pay for your time if you are that is if you are doing it manually you will spend it days and days the clients cannot be able to uh, foot the bill because it will be very expensive fortunately there are social media investigation tools available that may considerably decrease repetitive tasks and even automate the acquisition of data. With these tools, you may considerably broaden your internet investigations and gather vital evidence before it is removed or edited. Tools for detecting and investigating crime on social media. According to this side of Chetion, there are six tools that they have identified that can be used to investigate on social media. Tool number one, web preserver. Web preserver, according to them, is an automated forensic preservation solution for social media and the web, web material that can correct weeks of evidence 
in Chasta Nawa. It is auto expand function automatically extends long corrupt articles, comment threads, and responses, ensuring pirate material is recorded without you having to manually expand these areas. Web preserver can even record whole websites, Instagram, profiles, and videos with only two clicks. Web Preserver is a Chrome plug-in that may be downloaded, downloaded via the Chrome Web Store, but arises must be purchased through the Web Preserver website. Tool number two. Make a website hub. This is used in identifying emerging social media networks and applications. As I said earlier, more and more social media sites are coming up. And the users are ready uh, to sign up and use them. So this make a web, web uh, website hub tool will assist in identifying such emerging social media networks and applications. While it may appear at platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube dominate the social media scene, new applications and platforms are being developed all the time. Mega Website Hub routinely maintains a list of the latest social networking applications, which may be quite beneficial for broadening your internet investigations and locating those lesser known sites that may be hiding important data. Tool number three, PayPal. This helps in locating personal, professional, and social information online. PayPal is likely the most advanced personal search engine available to investigators on social media. PayPal gathers data from public documents, classifieds, directories, and online archives on the internet, but it also has its own exclusive sources. PayPal has worldwide coverage with over 3 billion online identities and 25 billion individual identification information at its disposal. All you need is a single data point, such as a name, phone number, or email address and the paper will immediately supply you with all accessible data for that individual. This information may include connected social media profiles, or known phone numbers, physical locations, places of employment, and educational history, and so on and so forth. Tool number four. TNI. This helps in locating the source of internet image, reverse image search. TNI is a simple yet effective tool for tracing original images, conducting reverse image searches. You must just need to upload an image to TNI and the application will find all the places where it appears on the internet. If a particular image appears on Facebook profile, you can use the eye to discover where else that image is used online, including other social media 
platforms like YouTube, Interest, or Twitter. Tour number five, Tweet Bifa. Helps with advanced tweet analytics, aim at analyzing an account and detecting relationships. Tweet Bifa is a tool that allows you to instantly grasp a large amount of information from any public tweet account. You can use Tweet Bifa to check and analyze account data, download users' favorites, use it, use two accounts follow one another, locate common followers of two accounts, and even find conversations between two users. Check Tweet Bifa for a whole list of actions you can perform. You can go to your browser and then browse Tweet Viva. You will get a whole ton of the functionalities of this tool, how you can use it to gather information on Twitter for purposes of your investigation. Tool number six, Chetion. This helps social media archiving, social media compliance, and e-discovery. Chadion can be used to automatically capture, retain official social media channels, and enables quick search of all major social media records from a single screen. All our social media records are captured with complete metadata and made searchable using 20 plus advanced search criteria. Chatton is mostly used by legal, compliance, and HR teams to solve disputes and employee misconduct cases to prove compliance with the government in both the social media retention laws as well as to support social media e-discovery with automatic uh, authentic records, sorry. JTN solution connects to social media account, sorry, social media account and the captures or posts, comments, replies, mild media, etc. Depending on the social network, including edits and deletions. Another extra benefit of Jeton is that it has integrated reduction feature, so it is easy to deduct sensitive and personally identifiable information before exporting records for review. Types of fraud that can be detected using social media. Social media provides an unprecedented open source monitoring opportunity for crime fighting and fraud prevention. Examples of the types of fraud that can be detected through monitoring of social media uh, feeds include number one, benefits fraud, number two, insurance fraud, number three, fraudulent sick leave claims, number four, money laundering, number five, marriage prospect fraud, number six, stock fraud. The list can go on and on and on. There are many types 
of fraud that can be perpetrated uh, and be uh, also be detected using uh, social media. How can fraud be detected using uh, social media? The following techniques can be used to detect fraud using social media. Capture the data and the information displayed in social media. Analyze content for evidence of criminal behavior and deception or intent. Use the data as intelligence to guide other inquiries. If there is a reasonable ground to believe that the subject person is involved in fraud, commission, open investigation that will involve interviewing the person. I am, I am now going to take you through a case where social media forensics was applied to arrest a fraud suspect, albeit accidentally. All our names in this story are changed. <coughs> John worked with ABC Limited in the USA. He started at the grade of accountant after college and grew very fast to become the CFO. CFO means Chief Financial Officer of that large company in the US. Being very likable and a chauffeur all the time, nobody in the organization thought that he could do any bad thing to the company. He was well paid and had very good allowances in addition to education for his children, four children, up to university and where they went. After working for the organization in the APC Limited for 20 years, John became greedy and he decided to migrate from US to Buenos Aires and settled there for the rest of his lifetime. To finance his migration, he decided to defraud his employer by taking kickbacks from suppliers and in a period of five years, he had defrauded enough dollars to buy a pitch filler on one acre plot and the two luxury boats for lesser on the ocean. He used to work very hard and had a very good relationship with all staff to disguise his evil against the company and a short ways scheme, he was not discovered until after he had resigned and left the country to settle in Buenos Aires. In his designation, he said that he was going to accompany his wife who had moved to Australian company to do farming. The agent director accepted the resignation and arranged for a farewell party at which John was rewarded for having worked for the company honestly for 25 years. Six months later, the new CFO who had taken over uh, met a uh, a supplier who came to him complaining that he had been sidelined as a supplier without being given the reasons. The supplier inadvertently indicated 
that the new CFO could be losing out since John was making a lot of dollars from his company. This complaint triggers, triggered an investigation since the CFO had already touted the pricing of supplies to ABC Limited. The preliminary investigation by internal auditors comparing prices during Johnny's tenure and the one before him and the six months after John revealed huge differences. Recommendation was turned to the board to institute external investigations into the matter revealed that John had defrauded up to 2.5 million US dollars in five years, he was CFO. The board got mad and not only ordered the investigators to trace him to be arrested, but also suspended all senior management, including the CEO and the directors of internal audit plus HR. The investigators followed him to Australia but it was nowhere to be found. They came back to meet a very furious board since they had spent a lot of money on the investigation. They requested that they be given time to trace the gentleman and they were given six months more. One evening when the, ad, the, the lead investigator was browsing through Facebook, he came across a person whose name was identical with that of John, but the profile indicated that he was from Buenos Aires. The lead investigator started following him, and after a week, he spotted information on Facebook that indicated that the man was originally from USA. The investigator linked the, with the international police who identified and arrested him. Conclusion. Social media forensics is an emerging field that all professionals interested in investigations cannot ignore. As the social media gains in increased acceptance globally, the risks of fraud also increases and other crimes. Social media can also present opportunities for tracing criminals. Social media investigation tools can automate and speed up the correction of evidence from all social, uh, major social media platforms. While these tools cannot completely replace traditional human investigation, they can certainly help you to collect the evidence more efficiently and broaden your investigations, especially in the early stages of the e-discovery process. That is an assignment. This was a lecture and therefore there, are, there is an assignment at the end. You can work on it. And if you work on it and send it for review, you can earn your CBD hours. I am through with my lecture. Within the, the time I expected, one hour to two hours, I've taken 50 minutes. It was quite fast, and no one has complained of me rushing you through. So what remains now, the, the next one hour will be for my co-facilitator to do a comment, and then uh, we go through the comments and the questions uh, which have been posted on the dashboard so that we respond to all of questions and you can keep the questions coming if you are joining us now 
please note that we are discussing social media forensics if you have any question put it on the on the board so that we get it and discuss it if you have a comment put it there uh we will uh, scroll it on the screen for all to, to see i would now allow samira from sri lanka samira from sri lanka is our uh, country director in sri lanka uh, i would allow him in to just say hi and make a short comment before i start sharing your comments and the questions on the screen Yeah, by this Samira, up to you. It is your time. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, it is your time. I'm getting you out, out and clear. Introduce yourself and then make a comment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. President. Hello. Hello. It appears Samuel is having a problem. Uh, it appears Samira is having internet problem. So let me start sharing your Hello. comments. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. So actually, very informative session. So it's uh, uh, very grow growth uh, section, especially in social media forensics and uh, and uh, population. Um, young people into the social media platform TikToks, like right? so then a um, uh, 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 lot of scams and then uh, frauds so growing around the world so so all forensic investigators they have to uh, improve their skills related to the uh, social media forensics so what are the tools availability and then how to gathering the evidence and then um, so what kind of areas so they have to focus so like uh, so those uh, yeah, learn learning so much needed to the uh, forensic investigators if you like say the organization may have some kind of uh, the now uh, uh, Facebook and all WhatsApp going some lottery like so fake lotteries and all uh, so sometimes uh, fake photo sharing so, uh, 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 there is a reputational risk to organization that especially that is a uh, uh, big responsible to the fraud and forensic investigation any organizations have a look in the uh, area of uh, social media forensics. So I think, uh, Mr. President, so you are lessons very informative. So in based on the fact-based presentations, figures, so around the world, around the people who can watch these lessons can improve the knowledge and update to the uh, current scenarios in the world so uh, really thanks to the uh, mr president for you you are valuable time for getting and preparing this kind of presentation and sharing with the world actually
Prosím.